I'm gonna teach you guys how to become a smart bartender, so be sure you take good notes in this video. Okay, suppose somebody's ordering a drink from you, and the person wants you to mix some vodka with some cranberry juice. Do you know what I'm talking about? And the person wants to have his cocktail to be 16 ounces, and with an alcohol concentration to be 6.25%. And you know, your vodka has 40% alcohol, and of course you just have cranberry juice, so it has 0% alcohol, right? The question is, how many ounces of each should we use? Alright, so this is how we are going to do it. First of all, let's just draw the glasses or the cups, just like how we did it earlier. Let's say this is the amount of vodka that we have to use. And we know this time the vodka has 40% alcohol, right? It's a different type of vodka. It's stronger. 40%, right? And right here, let's also draw another cup to represent the cranberry juice. And let me ask you, what's the percent right here for the alcohol? It's zero, because this is just cranberry juice, right? We cannot get drunk with cranberry juice. So we mix these two together. At the end, let's draw the third cup, because that's the final. This time, do we know the percentage of alcohol right here? We do, because the person wants to have exactly 6.25%, right? So we just kind of label the cups with the alcohol concentration. And now we have to ask ourselves for the amount. Do we know how many ounces? And in reality, is do we know how many parts of vodka that we have to use? Well, we don't, right? So therefore, we have to use a variable to represent the unknown. And because we're talking about vodka and cranberry juice, the best letters will be D and C, right? This will represent the amount of vodka that we need to use, and this will represent the amount of cranberry juice that we have to use. And how about for this? At the end, we know for the final, we want to have 16 ounces, right? And we also know when we add the vodka and cranberry juice together, we must have a total of 16 ounces. And now what's next? Well, this is the alcohol concentration. We are going to multiply this with the amount so that we can end up with the actual alcohol, right? Actual amount of the alcohol. But before we do that, let's change all the percentage right here to decimal. So 40%, this is the same as 0 0.4. 0 0% is just 0. And how about this? 6.25%. Well, this is 0 0.0625. And how did we do that? Move the decimal point twice to the left. One, two, okay? So you see, originally we have the decimal point in between of the six and the two, and then we moved it twice. One, two, and now it's right here. And now we multiply the alcohol concentration with the amount, so we can get the actual ounce of the alcohol. So the first one right here, we put down 0 0.4 times B, and then right here we do the same. Be consistent. Let's put down 0 times C. Okay? And we also do the same right here. Be sure you do this part as well. We take this percentage times the amount, 16. So let me put down 0 0.0625 and we multiply by 16 here. Okay? And just like the previous video, this is the actual amount of alcohol that we're getting. We have to make sure we add them up and then make it equal to this to keep everything balanced. And this is the system of equations that we can use to solve for C and B. Okay? And now you see, in this one it's actually not bad because from the second equation, you have 0 times C. So the second equation is just has one variable, right? 0 0.4 B is equal to 0. 0, 0.0625 times 16. So let me just like, put this down right here for you guys. I'm drawing an arrow. So for the second equation, we technically just have 0 0.4 phi, and this is equal to, this is just 0, so it doesn't matter. We have to multiply this and that together. You can use the calculator to multiply it out. When you do that, you actually end up with 1. 
0 0.0625 times 16, we get 1, okay? And then, we are going to solve for phi. Let's divide 0 0.4 on both sides. Cancel, cancel. That's very nice. And we get phi is equal to 1 over 0 0.4, which what? 2.5, okay? 2.5. And what does the 2.5 represent? This represents 2.5 ounce of vodka that we need to use. And now, how about the cranberry juice? Let's plug in this into the first equation. We don't have seen the second equation, so we cannot use the second equation. So, plug that in into the first equation. We know V is 2.5 now, right? So let me just take this and go back, plug in into here, 2.5 plus C is equal to 16. Well, what do we do? Subtract 2.5 on both sides so that this and that will be cancelled and we will have C is equal to what? 16 minus 2.5. That will give us 13.5. Okay? And at the end, keep in mind you are the bartender you have to come with the recipe, so you have to make sure you write down the direction clearly, right? So, based on this, I will write it down right here for you guys. We need to have 2.5 ounce of the vodka that we have right here. And then, we must have 13.5 ounce of the cranberry juice. And this right here is the perfect recipe. And I'm going to ask you guys another question, and be sure to try them first. Try to do it like the way that I'm showing you. I know this time the question doesn't involve any alcohol, and hopefully that doesn't disappoint you. <laughs> but anyways, we can still solve the question the same way, use the same strategy, right? And that's the main point of this video. It's not about drinking. Anyways, <laughs> we have to know what we're trying to get first. We're trying to make a 40% solution, and we have to get 45 milliliters, right? But what we have in hand is the 20% and also the 50% solution. And first of all, we'll begin by drawing the three cups, the three containers. And let me just do that right here for you guys. This is the first one, and let me label this to be the 20% solution. And right here, we will also have some of the 50% solution. We'll mix them together. At the end, we will try to get this to be 40%, right? And you see, draw the containers, draw the cups, and label the concentrations. And now, do we know how many milliliters of the 20% we should use? We don't, right? And because they are the same type of things, so I cannot use a special letter. Let's go classic. So we are going to go classic with X and Y. So right here, let's put on X. Right here, let's put on Y. But for this one, how many milliliters do we need? We want to end up with 45, right? And you see, this is the amount equation. And we have to make sure X plus Y will end up to be 45. The amount of this plus the amount of that has to end up with the amount of final, the 45. Now what's next? You know the deal, right? Change all the percent into decimal. So let's do that. 20% this is 0 0.2. 50% this is 0 0.5. 40% this is 0 0.4. And now what? Concentration times the amount. So let's take 0 0.2 and we multiply by x. And then, this is 0 0.5, and we multiply by the amount right here, which is y, at the end. Once again, be sure you multiply this and that as well. 0 0.4, and we multiply this by 45. And then for this right here, we can also add them up and make sure this is equal to this. And this is it. This is the setup. Okay? And just to make you guys to do the work, I'm not going to solve this question for you because 
The hard part is to set up the questions, right? And we just did it. So let me tell you guys a story. One student came up to me and asked me how to do this kind of mixture question. And all I told her is that draw the cups and the rest follow through, right? And at the end, she was able to do it. And she said it to me. I didn't know it was supposed to be this easy. I thought it was supposed to be much harder. No, it is supposed to be this easy. And you can do it. Now finish it. That's it.